Hello crafters and welcome to Spring into Sandown online craft show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond, our scrapbooking, mixed media and paper craft community. My name's Tamara and I'm delighted to be here with you today. Spring into Sandown brings demonstrations with our talented retailers and guest artists all from the comfort of your own home. Details of our up and coming sessions can be found on our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can also see the uh, online craft uh, schedule for this weekend and links to all the videos. Now while you're there, if you haven't already done it, sign up for our email list so that you can be the first to get all the details of upcoming events, plus you'll get links to all of the previous sessions. Now whether you're watching us live on Facebook or you're watching a replay on Facebook, YouTube or from the P2P Crafts site, we are so honoured that you are here with us today and we're so excited to have for you today um, I'm going to say the wrong name in a second, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking Peninsula Papercraft because that was the last one. So we are now, yes, Peninsula Papercraft Boutique. <laughs> so I've got Joe and Jenny on the line. Sorry, ladies, let me just fling across and welcome. Hi. I knew I was Thanks going to get tomorrow. that wrong. Hi. <laughs> so how are you today? We're doing good. We've been in the shop all day, so we've been putting up lots of stock and all that on the website, so... So, excellent. So you can tell us at the end what new stock's coming up. <laughs> so for people who haven't heard of you before, just tell us a bit about Peninsula Papercraft, what you are, where you are. We are a bricks and mortar store and online. Uh, we're in Somerville on the Mornington Peninsula. So if you are in whatever kilometre radius, you can click and collect from our store. <laughs> We have, just keep an eye out on our hours because they are changing as my kids are going back to school. Uh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Haven't you loved having them at home? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm very grateful for them to go back to school. But we've got uh, all things covered, all stamping, scrapbooking, mixed media, art journaling, whatever your your fancy, we've got it here. Yeah. I just I so miss going into a shop and, and having a, t a browse, you know, because I love picking things up and having a play and all this. So, you know, yeah. online shopping has a place and it's kept us all going. But nothing is as important as having a bricks and mortar shop that we can support, um, you know, where we can say to you, hey, are you able to get this? And you go, yeah, of course we can. You know, so. Definitely. Yeah, so it's really fantastic. And I must say, it took me about a week before I realised we'd actually gone from a five kilometre to a 10 kilometre radius. So I was really on the ball. Oh, dear, never mind. Now, what are you ladies going to show us today? Now, I believe, Joe, that you're going to be doing the demo? I am today. I'm actually um, back on board with everything. I've had a few things going on, so back on board, and um, we're going to do an altered notebook today. Oh, that sounds exciting. I haven't done an, uh, anything altered or otherwise. I just sort of... Ah, lots of fun. going to be watching to see what hints yeah. I can take out to put on my own work. So I'll give, you, I'll give you a second to turn the camera around and hopefully that will go smoothly because we've just had to jury rig everything. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to switch out so you can switch your camera across. Okay, so it's been a very fun day here at the office and everything should now hopefully... Have you girls turned your camera around? There we go. We're working on it. <laughs> Oh, look, that's spectacular. Let me join. There you go. Look at that, everybody. Isn't that just amazing? So it's it's got some um, metallic paint and waxes on there and, um, you know, a bit of splatter and all that. And, but there's also a lot of texture in here as well. Yeah, so, I can see that. That's, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so as you move it around, there's different colours that show up and everything so yeah something a little bit different so it's just a, a hardcover notebook that i actually picked up from kmart um and like you've got the the rings on the side so you can actually pull the covers off and work on them so it makes it a lot easier so gently remove not pull <laughs> <laughs> that's it so i've sort of cheated a bit and um prepared a couple already um, so you can see the different stages because obviously you've got a fair bit of drying time with the metal embellishments and stuff. So yeah. Um, so I've just started it and I've done. I've used um, the Finnebear Victorian tile stencil. Um, so that one's actually quite a pretty one. And which brand is it? It's um, the Prima Marketing. Okay. Yeah. So it's um, quite pretty. So I've put that on the background first 
Um, and then I've added on my string. So it's just wrapped around and then tied. You can actually cover it over if you wanted to or just paint it black or something. Um, I've added on all my metal embellishments. You can layer them up as much as you like. Um, I've layered them a little bit but not overly too much because sometimes it gets a little bit too crowded. Mm -hmm. So once you've glued all those on and um, everything's dry, um, you can actually paint it all black. So I've already <laughs> made a bit of a start, painted it all black. I've done two coats of black gesso and then I've actually added on one of the metallic acrylic paints. So this one is uh, Romance Pink. So that one's the one on there and it is metallic. So you sort of just do a coat on there um, and then we're going to add on, uh, what is it, red wine. So we'll do some red wine. Are you supposed to be drinking the red wine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, but I've just used this super tack glue that we've got in store. It, it works really well with really all the metal stuff. Yeah, it's so nothing, nothing moves. It won't come off. Um, and metal on metal, it sticks really well as well. So nice solid glue. Yeah, serious glue. Definitely. So I'm using some waxes. I love Finna Bear stuff. So I'm using all the waxes and. Her metal embellishments, so we've got flowers and numbers. Um, these look like bottle caps. Yep. So I'm using all those. Um, and the, the the brush, they're called a dabbing brush set, but I use them for the waxes. Okay. Um, and just a little tip, if the waxes all come in a tube now, but I've got little jars that I put a little bit in at a time and then store it that way. So. Okay. You can't put it back in a tube, no. so you don't want to waste it either because they're so cool. They're no. nice, pretty colours and all that as well. So And you always squeeze out more than you actually want. <laughs> exactly, and then you end up wasting most of it. So Now, this page you know, is – I'm just stunned looking at that. I absolutely <laughs> just love that as a background. Yeah, it, it's sort of – I love doing mixed media stuff and art journaling and all that, so I think – I favour the mixed media stuff more than cards and scrapbooking at the moment. So, you know, it's um, something really good that I've gotten into. But um, So this is the back cover. So all I've done is just put some stenciling on the back, um, two coats of black gesso and then done some splattering. So I've used the Dilution Shimmer Paint. So just mix that with some water and just splatter it. And is that one gold by all. any chance? That color? Uh, no, it's it is called pure sunshine. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that because that yeah. <laughs> just I love it. <laughs> it, it. It looks really goldish on there, and like I was looking for a bright gold, but I thought no, this is close enough, so it worked really well. So Certainly. you know, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. So I've just got some water next to me as well, but um. The first coat is with the Romance Pink, so all you do is just go over everything. And then once you've done that, just dip your brush in the um, in the red wine a little bit. There's usually plenty in the lid, so um, all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of, of it on all over the place. So had you already done one coat of the red wine prior to that? No. No, no, just the um, just the romance pink. Okay. Yeah, so just a little bit of romance pink on there over everything. Um, obviously, we've got the drying time, but mm -hmm. the amount you're putting on of the second coat is not too much. So. Yeah, I that wondered if you put one coat on and it dried a bit lighter. So if you added a second coat, it would bring it out darker. But no, two different colours. So. Two different colours. They are. Yep. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to do with the red wine. So that shouldn't take too long to dry, but as you can see, it just gives it a little bit of a darker colour in there as well. So all I'm going to do next, my waxes, if I can get the lid off. So I'll just put it into my jar. So just a little bit on your bra. 
you don't want it covered completely so and then it gives you just rub it over and so does the the wax make it more waterproof or anything um to a degree it does but it just adds another layer of color as well so i've got plenty on my paper towel here so i'm just gonna go over okay and trick question do you know how many different colors of wax there is Ah, oh, lots. <laughs> okay. There is lots. There's blues, greens. Um, well, there's about, I know there's three different types of golds. There's vintage gold, white gold, and another one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there's quite a few. Um, collective starting off our collections. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Pick your so favourite colours. I, I often find people say, oh, you know, what yeah. colours, you know, should I get? And it's like, the answer is, <laughs> what colours do you like? That's exactly it. And which colours are you going to use most? So, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's sort of, you want to get the whole lot, but sometimes it's not worth it because you're not going to use them all. Yeah, or if they're so close. Yeah, exactly. You don't want two or three different turquoises, but, you know... Depends on the shades too, but these two, um, one's fire ruby and one's fire. So one's more of a gold and the other's more of a red. Yep. So even though they've got a similar similar name, so yeah, but no, they're definitely different colours. Yes, so definitely different colours, complementing each other nicely. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going in now and adding a layer of um, what is it, my firebird which is the goldy one. And then like you probably can't notice it as much, but when you move the book around, you tend to get um, all the different colors. And so I'm just gonna add some in on the black as well, just to you know, give it a little bit more of a depth or texture or whatever, so you can see the Sets your pace behind. Yeah, so I guess when the light changes which angle it hits at, you get the reflection. Oh, yes, I can see it there just when you lint on. Yeah. yeah, so like I'm seeing the dark red underneath, but then I see um, the gold, the, the goldy colour coming through the top as well. So but it is really hard to see on camera. Yeah, lighting is everything, isn't it? So it, yeah, it depends what you've got. And, yeah. So you've even yeah. got the string there too. Yeah, yeah. Sort of just add a little bit onto everything. You don't need to cover it completely because obviously you do want the other colours coming through. But you know you can spend so much time just playing around and all that. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to know when to stop. <laughs> it is. I'm going to have to tell myself to step away in a second. <laughs> breathe. Yeah. The word here for today: breathe. <laughs> breathe. Definitely. You definitely need to breathe, don't you? Yeah. So if you wanted to as well, you could just, you know, any excess on your brush, just mm -hmm. gently go over and give your texture paste a little bit of colour. How stiff is the brush? Are... Sorry? How stiff is the brush? Um, these ones are made from, was it the Boar Fair or something? Whatever they use. It is very coarse mm. because you can use them for stenciling as well, but I sort of use them more for for the waxes. So, yeah. So I'm not going to add very much more of the gold on there. So I'm just going to swap over and use my finger. As I said to Michelle yesterday, you've got ten of those. <laughs> you do, you do. And this is one of the, the older waxes, um, they used to come in a, a little pot like this. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the old ones. I've had it for ages and you can still see. Yeah. So, yeah, that looks like it would be easier than the tube really, doesn't it? Because you can just yeah. get out what you want. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And like they do last quite a while. So Sorry, I'm using the wrong finger there. Um, just remember which one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so they do last quite a long time. And that's the joy. Actually, a lot of our craft supplies do, like embossing powder is the first one that springs to mind. You know, you don't actually use a lot of it, so it lasts forever. Uh, so, yeah. you know, if the wax is along the same lines, you know, you can afford to, to get a decent brand. Yeah, exactly. For quite a long time. And like, I love the Finnebear ones because they're made from beeswax. Oh, okay. And they smell really good too. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, a, that's, you, that's even a bonus. But um, in Desperate times, yeah. you can use it as a hand cream and go to a oh, Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Paint yourself gold. <laughs> um, a lady's actually just asked if you can use black paint. And yes, you can use black paint if you don't have black gesso. So it's just um, to get a base on on the book itself mm -hmm. yeah so if you've only got black paint you're fine to use that yeah because i thought at first you had just painted it and i was going to ask if it was a matte rather than a gloss paint but when you said yeah. yes so so yeah 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 okay so that's you know i don't know if you can see the gold on there but oh, it's all beautiful. it sort of just adds a little bit mm. a little bit more to it and then just rub it over your string. It's so pretty. Yeah. I love to working with all the metal stuff. Mm. Just adds another another dimension to it all. And with the waxes too, you can keep going, keep layering it and layering it to get more depth in your colour too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one missed. Okay. okay. The gold paste. Yeah. So a lady's asked about, I think it's the gold wax that she's asking about. She said gold paste, but it's the um, Prima Marketing. Finnebear is the designer, if that's how you say her name. <laughs> Um, but it's the Art Alchemy Vintage Gold Wax, um, but it does come in the tube now. So, okay. so yeah. So little jars from the $2 shop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or do you sell jars? Um, we, we are actually ordering them in yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, sold yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, look, support our local retailers. Yeah, exactly. So the last thing that I need to do is just put... A little bit of paint onto my board. This is where I end up getting it everywhere. Oh, that'll be fun then. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to mix the yellow with a bit of water. So I've just got a spray bottle as well. Mm -hmm. So mix it with water so it's all nice and runny. And then just tap your brush. Splatter time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love a bit of splatter, so it ends up with lots on there. So I find that you've got to hold your brush really loosely when you do it as well. Because mm -hmm. otherwise so, it helps as well, I guess. Yeah, that's it. I think the last time I tried doing that, I had one of the cats on the table and it was like, <laughs> this is not a good time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, my cats usually try and walk over the middle of it, so they end up with it all over their feet and sit on it it's like i need that yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's it and because we record the classes as well um you get a youtube link to the classes okay um you quite often see my cat <laughs> they do like to be part of whatever you're doing they do they do inconvenient time <laughs> yep oh of course yeah <laughs> So I'm just covering, using up what I've got left on the board just to add some splatter. So that's about it. So I mean, it, it is nice and easy and all the rest of it. So it can take as much time or as little time as you like. Um, you can add more layers if you want and really layer it up. But because it's a notebook, you sort of, it's going to be, it's heavy enough as it is. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use your notebook, you just got to be aware that it will be heavy yep. so, as well. So And then you have to be careful putting it back onto the, um, the yeah. line because you have to roll yeah. from 
I haven't done that since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad, but you just sometimes have to remember which way up and where the, the joins go. Mm. So I always make sure they're at the back. So I sort of pull it apart, slip, it, slip both others off, and then when I put them back together, just push them back, and that's about it. So, yeah, sometimes you'll see <laughs> there's an arrow at the yep. top of my page. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just show me that back cover again, please, because I really love the back cover. Yeah. Oh, thank you. But yeah. just, you know. like, you're so unsplattered, um, Gold yeah. pink. Oh my gosh, I have to get that one. Sunshine yellow, was it? <laughs> uh, pure sunshine. Oh, sunshine. Just, okay. just the shimmer paints. But also, too, with black, the shimmer sprays on black paint look amazing as well. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, so they really stand out and um, give it a little bit of a shimmer. Yeah. So Just gorgeous. Just yeah. So you can see, like, different colours and mm. all that. Yeah. Yes, definitely. But, um, doesn't matter how many of these you do. I think this is about the fourth one I've done. They always turn out different. So, look, that's the same with a lot of crafts. You're never able to replicate exactly because of just the different amounts of materials you use, the colours and all that sort of thing. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. But exactly. They're unique, made with love. They are. They are. Okay. Well, that was fantastic, Joe. I'll just give you a chance to turn the camera around, and you can then tell us about your special. You can tell us about the special now since you've got it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anything with um, from Prima Marketing today until midnight Sunday night, we've got 20% off. So, so all of the products that I've used for um, the notebook, we've got them all in stock. And, yeah, they're 20% off. So you've got the – I call them bottle caps, but they probably call something else. So bottle caps, flowers – the numbers, we've got small and large numbers. I think we've got bigger ones than these as well. And some more flowers, so, you know, it gives it a little bit of height and everything else. And we've got the waxes, the brushes. We've got these um, tool pouches. Nice. The seat tool. Uh, Jen's just sending me all these. So we've got the big art pouches as well. So there's two of those too. There's the let's flip it over. That's a poop. That one as well. <laughs> yeah, I love them. So yeah, so there we go. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well I'll give you a sec. I'll to turn your camera around and we'll come back to you. That was just gorgeous. I love that journal. That's not something that I have done in the past, but like certainly, just looking at that, I want to do it now. So. Um, I'll have to ask Joe and Jen if they've actually got classes when we get back. Here we go. So, do you plan on having classes when we get back to life? Absolutely. Lots of them. Lots of card classes, lots of art, journaling, mixed media, big plans. We can't wait to have people back in store. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't be, too, won't be too much longer. But um, yeah. Yeah, that was a fabulous demonstration. Joe. thank you very much. And Jen, good no to see problem. you again. Good to see you again. Now, just... Be safe, and we will see you next time around. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Well, that was just fabulous. So thanks again very much, ladies. Um, thank you for spending the afternoon with us to watch our shows. So in the meantime, have a crafty afternoon, and thank you for joining us.